I would like to welcome on stage now the winners of Best Production Design. Congratulations to Fiona Crombie and Alice Felton. Congrats, guys. Thank you. Thank you. And a fabulous speech as well. So, I, I mean, the favourite is so gorgeous to look at. When you first got the script, which scene kind of made you stop itching to get on with sourcing things? Do you know what? I mean, just weirdly by chance, I've known the writer for nearly 20 years. And I designed a play of his at Sydney Theatre Company. And I recognised the tone of the, the language. And so I just thought, I want to be part of that. You know, I know Tony's writing. Uh -huh. So, yeah, yeah. I think the Queen's bedroom, yeah. just getting, you read, so much happens in yeah. there. And so you knew you could revisit and revisit and get deeper into the detail. So even just doing the Queen's bedroom was, was an exciting start. So yeah, that was a, and obviously the dark race. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what was the hardest thing to source? Mm. Well, we couldn't source the rabbit cages, so we made that. You know, like, there are certain things that you just, well, the wheelchair. You know, like the things that didn't exist in the time, and I mean that you just sort of had to create because they, they didn't exist in the time. So we had to invent a lot of our key elements. You the know, queen's bed. Oh you yeah. You can't get a seventeen-foot bed in my <laughs> houses, so that was made. Yeah. Um, yeah, lot, there was lots of elements, but that's really exciting for mm. us because yeah. it means yeah. we can have our own input. And yeah. It's, it's cool. Yeah. And apart from the script, where else did you draw inspiration from? You know, other films or music or art. Oh, there's always, you know, I look at contemporary photography, you know, different artworks. I mean, all manner of, I mean, we looked at historically accurate references and we also, we did look at only a couple of films that Yorgos had particularly pointed out and said, just check out those. It'll give you a sense of the style. It's not necessarily, you know, a reference for, I want you to follow this. It was more like just, you know, a little kind of nudge, this might be going this direction. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, no, for props we look at, thousands of old oil paintings and mm. illuminated manuscripts and Instagram and yeah, yeah. you know like we'll yeah, go anything. from a, a fashion shoot yeah. to just everything in the Uffizi that you see on the table. So, yeah. Yeah. What kind of director is Yorgos? Yorgos, uh, he has, I mean what's fascinating about him is how I would say he's quite lean in terms of he doesn't he doesn't prescribe what he's wanting you to do. But weirdly, we all get on train, you know, like, so you find yourself sort of in the universe of a Yorgos film. And, you know, but he's not, there are no rules. He doesn't sit down and go, this is what I, you know, I mean, at the direction to us, I mean, it was very sort of minimal, really. Mm -hmm. He was, you know, I, I need to be able to move the camera. I want to have space. That's kind of that. And then from there, we were like, we just went with him. We would, you know, show him things and, you know, he would... He, he yeah. pushes you to be your most creative. Yeah. Like, he'll, he'll allow you to play and for yeah. us to be creative and he'll step back and then if yeah. he doesn't like it, then he would mm -hmm. step in. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I'd like to open it up. Yeah, gentlemen in the front row. Hi, I'm Jacob from Gold Derby. Um, Fiona, every time I speak to you, you Hi. pick up another Hello. award, um, so congratulations. Um, and Rachel just won Sporting Actress, we by the way. Oh, did you? Yes. Oh, I didn't see. Oh, she brilliant. Yeah. Um, the two of you obviously are very, very good friends. Um, does that make this battle win even brillianter? Great word. Um, <laughs> because you, you, can, you can share it with each other. Do you know the whole thing has been so much better for doing it with Alice? I mean, we spend our whole time just going, living our best lives. Like, you know, mum's on tour. Check it out. You know, like, we've just been in LA and just, you know, I mean, there are stories. But, yeah, we no, are having a good... <laughs> We're having no. a blast. <laughs> no, it's brilliant because, um, well, you know, like, if you're on set and it's a, a small film. There's not many people, you know, we're a little tight crew and... You can't, I mean, nothing prepared me for the response that... I mean, you know, I knew we were making a beautiful film. I knew it was quality, you know. Um, but you just don't know that this is going to happen. So, yeah, I'm very blessed. Yeah. Thank you. Any more questions from the audience? Yeah. Hi, congratulations. Uh, you, you mentioned in your uh, speech about uh, working mothers. How different was it to work on the favourite of a, a film where women are very much at the forefront? Do you know, I'll tell you, like, when I came to England, I came to London for the first time to make a feature film. It was the first time I'd been in a crew with mothers, other mothers. And it was so brilliant to know that... I mean, the thing about working mothers, 
is that we're very efficient. You know, like there is so much compartmentalizing and we're very capable. And so I was just so blown away that Alice has three children. I've only got two. So, you know, like it was just amazing to me. And there were numerous women around that were just, I mean, they're, I mean, it made me feel like I was at home because I was not the only one that was always, you know, getting a call. And you know. Olivia, with, she's yeah. got three, and Rachel's just had her yeah. soccer. You know, this, you, yeah, it felt great to be making a film about women. It really did. Mm. Thank you so much, and congratulations again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.